me ask you about the Associated Press story today mm -hmm. that described what it called a variety of a senior administration officials possessing secret email addresses. Right. And I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about that. One, what is the standard of transparency this administration is going to use in FOIA requests about these things or in disclosing these going forward? And is it or has it been the policy of this administration whenever there's a congressional inquiry about email traffic on a given subject that both the established email address and the secondary or secret one is always given over to Congress? Let's be clear. This is a practice consistent with prior administrations of both parties and, as the story itself made clear, any FOIA request or congressional inquiry includes a search in all of the email accounts used by any political appointee. So the answer is all of this information is provided. Having alternate email addresses for cabinet secretaries and other high profile officials makes eminent sense, uh, much as it does for columnists, for example, of major publications who provide email addresses for their readers but have alternate work email addresses so that the if they are inundated in one account with uh, either public emails or spam or the like that they can continue to uh, use their other account for uh, normal work. And that is the case with uh, officials of this administration, officials of the previous administrations uh, who have had email addresses. Uh, and in the, the fundamental question here in terms of FOIA requests and congressional inquiries is that all these email addresses are included. Well, you uh, mentioning previous administrations, the use of these uh, alternate email addresses for political purposes did become wait, 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 a bedeviling. No, no, no. You're talking about private email accounts. I am talking about work email accounts, okay. and that's what this article was talking about. Okay. So let's not confuse this. Uh, it is obviously counsel uh, uh, very clearly uh, that uh, we do not use uh, and should not use private email accounts for, for work. And, but this is an issue okay. about alternate work email accounts, all of which uh, are uh, part of and, and are included in searches for FOIA requests and congressional inquiries. So there's nothing secretive about this? There's this nothing is secret. It's, a, it's about uh, having a public email address a, a, as well as a, uh, one for internal you know, workings. But they're all uh, available for you know, when FOIA requests are made and congressional inquiries are conducted.